How is the camera? Is it set up? All right. One last thing I'm going to ask. Is everyone in here 18 years and older? Yes. Okay, good. Then there's no legal. That is the right answer. All right. Uh, yeah. Even if you're not, just say you are so we can get away with this. All right. No, uh, yeah, this is the adults only panel. So if you're under 18, kindly fuck off. <laughs> he doesn't really. Uh, Anyways, are we juggling? Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay. So I that. need one. All right. Uh, well, Sharon. Sharon. <laughs> I know we're sharing. Prima Donna. Right now, I am presenting. Have you seen Phantom of the Opera? Yes, I've seen Phantom of the Opera. That entire Prima Donna section. That you just <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're lucky I keep you. It's like the bread. That sounded really gay. Like <laughs> oh, don't no worry. Honey, you're pouring my beans. <laughs> ah, oh, God, don't worry. <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome to Monk Events Kamishi by 18 Plus. Uh, today we're going to be taking a little time and uh, reading to you uh, three manga dramatically. But uh, first of all, how many people here know what a Kamishi by is? I just a couple people that were here last year. <laughs> Well, we're going to have uh, this uh, news report explain it in a little bit more in detail. Come on in, sir. This is BBC News, New York. <laughs> All right, and now for the main attraction. That's what we're here to do today. And first, we're starting off with... <laughs> Gintama. Is that Gintama himself? No, that's not Gintama. No. This just happens to be the manga that we're going to be reading from. Manga number 20. Alright, manga number 20. Lesson 190, 169. Unlikable things are adorable. Ah, oh, come on! Is this manga still going? Jump should fire the artist and replace him with a bomb off the street. What the hell is this? It's too hard to read. There's too much dialogue. It's time for Jump to nurture talented new manga artists who can surpass the writers of One Park and New Ruto. My gut tells me it's about the time for the next once in a decade genius to appear in Jump. I'd like to hear more. What's so bad about Gintame? It's doing pretty well. I like it. What's that? You're a Gintame fan? That's too bad. A manga like this will stunt your growth. <laughs> My name's not Kit. My name's Konishi. I want to know what's wrong with Gintama. It's really the editor's fault. He should never have let it get this bad. You. Amateurs don't understand anything. An editor can only offer guidance to an artist when he's staring, when he's starting out. Once he gets serialized, he has to sink or swim on his own. An editor should at least keep the artist from going out of control. A little eccentricity is good, but it's the editor's job to pull on the reins when the artist steps over the line. If I were the editor, I could have saved this manga. I guess he just doesn't understand. Jump's editors may be educated, but they must have spent too much, so much time studying that they've never experienced what it's like to be a boy. <sighs> Jump would be great if it weren't for internet. Are you proud of them? You are. Where are you? Do you like? Hello. Okay. This is Konishi from the Jump Editorial Department. What you do? Do you enjoy your work? <laughs> <laughs> the box is asking. <laughs> Konishi! I do this. All right. You idiot! Uh, <laughs> we can't print a joke like this. Don't try to disguise your lack of creativity with smut. So that's it, right? You're trying to obscure this manga's shortcomings with dirty jokes? Well, I'm on to you. You're finished, right? Are you burnt out already? You make me feel nervous and excited and not even in a good way. You know? Come on, Konishi, stop frustrating me. Don't make me lose any more of my hair. I can't claim this is a center part for, for, for uh, forever, you know. At least Yokozawa, he start, uh, look at Yokozawa, he started the same year you did. Uh, he's suave and good looking, he edited C. Crayman and Death Nut. He has the three times your ability, he's taller, and he's got a huge Akarasu. Now look at you! You have a, you have a talented statue of a fifth grader, and you, yeah, and for your Akarasu. Why is it so big? I hate that about you. 
You know, your boss just randomly pants you in the middle of the office, complains about how huge your dog is. I think we've all been there. I have the bleeping area as a dog. Holy shit. Yeah, it's bigger than his body. Listen, if the next know. reader survey results turn out as terrible as this one, go to she, you and Kinta are both finished! How did it come to this? Why is this happening to me? I didn't come to shoot. Sure you I'm not Japanese. Sure you say she shut in at manga. I wanted to work on a hip men's magazine like men's nanan. I wanted to be a trendsetter. I wanted to be a sophisticated urbanite, hang out with models, eat all the sushi I want, and go to the hottest clubs every night. Why did I ever do to the, what did I ever do to deserve to be assigned to Jump's editorial department? and forced to edit this crappy manga. I didn't understand it. I didn't want to understand it. Hmm. Gita Man is in this week's issue, too. Enough already. It's annoying. Seriously, what's the editor thinking? The editor-in-chief chief should execute the pen and the artist. Stop ruining my jump. <coughs> oh, yeah? Then why don't you edit it? If you think it could do better, be my guest. I'd much rather work on a cool and stylish title like Death Nut or Sea Crab Man, okay? I want to be featured in the subculture magazines like Quick Japan and give them the behind the scenes scoop on the hippest manga. I. I. In, instead, I have to edit Ginta Man and Mason D. Hunk. Why are the manga I work on so lame? Do you know who this is? Oh, I know, that Zoofy from One Park. 
And, uh, and how about this wow. one? Ah, that's Kichi Goo Goo from Peroxide. <laughs> Peroxide. If I think it's magic, it's all jump comics that are like Bleach and One Piece and uh, Dragon Ball. They had to leave them out for some reason. They're copyright infringement. Yeah. What? Yeah. What you gonna do? This is published by Shonen Jump, and they have the copyrights. <laughs> that's the joke. That explains <laughs> everything. That explains they don't want to see themselves. Yeah, they don't want to see themselves. You're right. I can recognize them by their silhouettes. Okay, how about this? Oh, that's Goku from Dragon Boots. Bro! <laughs> what? Huh? That's gotta be Goku. The correct answer is... Ginta. Hold on, what's happening? Frozen is gonna get her. Ginta. This is how he's going to look in next week's episode. An exciting new look will make a huge difference. Draw him like this, okay, Zorichi? But wait, he looks just like a character from Dragon Blues. Huh? Dragon what? Stop talking nonsense. You've been reading Jump for 20 years and you don't know Dragon Blues? But we've already seen, but we've already been in serialization for five weeks. The change is too drastic. Nobody will know what to think. Then give him a bad perk, too. You like that idea? It's a blatant copyright infringement. Okay, now let's work on the villain. Look. Every hero's got to have a powerful enemy. The hero has to defeat a deadly rival. That's what makes him cool. Then they become friends. Readers love that. So, who's the rival in Ginta Man? Him? Who's he? Uh, that's uh, Muddy Kitty, the detective with the Shinguku police. He's after Ginta, but sometimes he helps him out. He's too boring. Can you pick him out of this lineup? Don't make me keep repeating myself, okay? Look at that. These are the silhouettes of rival characters in Jump. They all look different, right? Yeah, right. You've never heard of Dragon Blues. <laughs> Do you know who he is? Pickle Bulb. And this one? Oh, uh, that bulb one must be Tian Skinhand. And this one? Vegetable. Wrong! <laughs> what? What? You stole another one? This is Ginta. <laughs> Actually, it's Ginta as a Super Slayer. <laughs>